Hi everyone, um, welcome to SETCB, uh, Zero Carbon Park. Uh, today is my honor to share with you one of our project. The project was set out to achieve a few uh, primary objectives. I mean, first of all, is to talk about how Hong Kong can achieve a zero carbon uh, building. This is the south side. This face gains the maximum daylight. You can see the lots of overhang. Uh, providing lots of shadow. So all the space inside here uh, can be shaded. And on the back side, this is the north side of the building, which is have high windows. So the window is large and big, so they allow more daylight, northern light coming into the space. So here, what we have here are uh, inverters. The purpose of these inverters is basically converting the direct current that is generated on the solar panel and through this inverter they convert it into uh, alternate current, AC, which is what we use day to day uh, when we plug in the socket. So if you look at over here, we have all these uh, photovoltaic panels, which is where the, it collects the daylight and convert it into electricity and they are all over here and it's shaped slightly curved so we try to get the maximum amount of daylight. We're on the outside now. Um, this is what we call a stormwater cooling combining with the solar panel to provide the energy to uh, create uh, cold water, chilling water to cool the building. So it uses the stormwater we collect it and that become the water body that can cool and then the Solar panel on top of here will provide the, uh, the air conditioning system, the power, so that it can create uh, cool air for the building behind us. So right now we're in one of Hong Kong's first urban woodland that is filled with native species. Um, there is 135 trees here, uh, over 40 species, and they're all native species. We planted this as part of the garden park environment where the building sits in the back and you can see now it has lots of daylight on the building and this part is in the shade a little bit because of the surrounding buildings and it created a very nice breezy uh, area and the lots of people just enjoying uh, the shades and enjoying the fresh air and I think part of the process when we designed this is to create an environment as best not just for the people inside the building but people that lives around the building, so this can be a nice community space. So right now behind me is a water storage area where the rainwater will come down, get filtered by this area, and will be used for irrigation for the park and for other non-drinking purposes. Having these lily pond is not only nice, it cools the air, but also it, it helps to clean out uh, the rainwater and store it as well. And I think the birds love drinking here uh, as well. 